well, on this map, uh, I think it's about uh, securing mid first, uh, and then you can expand over to the other side. Mm. It's just about uh, expanding as fast as possible and uh, having that expansion secured. Uh, it's my first time playing this map, so maybe not. It was maybe not uh, the best play possible, but yeah, it was okay, I guess. Yeah, well, I think I think you do end up winning this match, <laughs> <laughs> and that's like. That's that's one of the things that everyone's just so amazed by because you you can just walk into a map and figure out figure out what the meta is before uh, kind of while you're playing it and then win against people who have like played the map many times before. Yeah, I know that. Uh, first of all, it's uh, Harry that has made the map, and I know he has played a lot of games versus. Uh, Rock and Tip Tushi. Yeah, definitely. And then you come in here and just kind of win the first match on it. Crazy. You're sending these uh sending these Jeffies that he's uh sent towards you back to his base. Um he's building some some flashes and he's gonna kind of try and regroup and push you back. I'm not sure if he's successful in that. Uh how what's the best way to to secure mid? So and, and the other thing is a lot of players say you should attack while you're expanding or expand uh, while you're while you're attacking. Uh, what what are what's the best way to do it? Uh, if possible, I try to uh, attack all the time so I can uh, expand as freely as possible and without uh, uh, so much defense. Uh, yeah, and then now I just troll him with. Uh, Jeff is. <laughs> <laughs> so he has to chase them and he can't attack me. Yeah, that's so, really smart. Because that's exactly what he's doing here. He's just following these Jeffies with, uh, with a bunch of flashes. And yeah, hey. he's, he's sending some towards you too, but he's like pulling them back every now and then. It's probably just control V. Yeah. But you are making like an LLT over here. So wh why'd you make this LLT? Um, in the east mid uh maybe not the best play i just thought it's good to have some defense in case uh, some jeffies or flashes uh, slips through uh i don't know if i would have done that again so like the more the more aggressive play is to just kind of go for radars and, and maxes and just push out like that yeah Ideally, you would just build uh, radars and uh, mechs, of course, and defend with units. Ideally. Like, uh, and that looks like what's going on over here further west. Yeah, trying to get a grip of mid. What are, what are good units for defending? Because I see you using jeffies and flashes. Um, and a lot of players like like to use like raiders and stumpies uh, in this patch. Uh, I don't use uh, that much stumpies, but uh, I guess they work. I haven't tried them that much. If you look uh, down to the left now, you can see that Harry opened with some mines. Opened the tree. All right, yeah, he used the mine layer. So I tried to catch that, so we can open the other layer of trees. That would have been in bad. <laughs> Eventually does that, but not that early on. Right, because if he gets those Jeffies through, then it's going to be difficult for you to pivot and defend and defend. Yeah, yeah. So what if, what if they sent what if they sent raiders or stumpies and he just kind of like blew down the trees? Because Tip did that to me recently, and uh, I think that probably tipped the game in his favor. Nope, I guess pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, well, uh, I guess it. I, uh, maybe it can work, I don't... Usually I go fast T2 instead of Stumpies. Uh, I don't know. I haven't lost to Stumpies yet, so... <laughs> I think it works. Just uh, build flashes in, uh, until I can uh, go T2. Right. <laughs> Earlier today you were saying, FN, 
If you're losing to Stumpies, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> so I guess. Well. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. I mean, I'm, I'm not the best player. Uh, you, you built another lab, and uh, looks like you're just going for more more flashes. Yeah, I'm just trying to. Uh, gain an advantage before I go T2 uh, on T1 stage. Oh. So, and you're making this, a good thing. And you're making this advantage through uh, just like building more, more flashes. That's 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 how you see the advantage. Yeah. Try to build more uh, um, flashes and uh, try to out micro him <laughs> if I can. Slip some uh, flashes through his ranks. You want to try to maximize every attack, maximize the damage. I'm... Right. So I'm seeing right here. There's this flash, flash mob that's uh, attacking this LLT and Jeffy area that he's built up. When do you make the decision to pull your pull your flashes back, or or to, uh... or to raid past? Well, probably I wasn't watching it uh, the first point, uh, <laughs> and then I pulled them back when I saw that. Right. Uh, I probably couldn't win that fight. And what would you uh, recommend Harry to do in this situation? He's like building flashes, he's building some LLTs. What, what should he do at this point? Should he just pull that con all the way back? Well, if he can defend that position, I would stay there, but... Uh... Uh, right now, does he have one lab or two labs? He's got um, he's got one lab and he's working on T two. Uh, yeah. I would maybe I put down another T one lab earlier, but to put some more flashes out, but I don't know. It's too late now. It's beyond repair. <laughs> I think I have T2 up uh, already, or? Oh yeah, you do. I see you've already got your T2 up here. And so I, probably in the first thing, what's the first thing you do with your T2? Uh, right now I just push out uh, one T2 con to get more build power so I can guard the T2 lab to get some panthers out. Because you want to use all of the metal that you've got before you start working on getting more eco? Yeah, it depends on the map and also the situation, but here I'm just trying to get some early T2 units to push and uh, to get an advantage, get an edge. And so you're going to get that and edge I... through raiding, right? Yeah, you know, push, push his, uh, his base with some units. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can see that. Um, I'm splitting my army and I get, uh, uh, well I think, yeah, I get some crew and I kill 6, 7, 8 mexes or something on the his side. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's, that's really good right there. And, and I think I also kill some, some mexes on the, the bottom side there. Oh, it's, a, it's a great attack. And you're able to just kind of... His flashes aren't really doing anything. They're just kind of sitting around. They're trying to chase chase flashes, but they're not really doing too much damage. <laughs> yeah, once you get these things through, they're such a pain in the butt to deal with. Yeah, yeah. And you're sending more with Panthers, so I'm sure that's... And so you haven't even started building your first max yet. You're just continuing to, continuing to pressure. Uh, yeah, I I think I built 10, 15 uh, Panthers, and then I get some cons out to get those uh, T2 mixes. I think I uh, uh, destroyed that uh, mid position with the Panthers. Yeah, I'd, I'd figure as much. I mean, you've got, you've got a whole bunch of Flashes and Panthers, and there's only five LLTs there. And a, and a construction vehicle, that's it. 
That's not much for Harry. And he he is getting some Panthers out of his own, but um, I you think having that my... yeah, I think having that second T T1 vehicle lab uh, pumping out flashes earlier in the game um, gave you pretty much gave you the ability to raid and uh, and push right here. So without that, I think he'd be pushing on you instead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's good to be attacking all the time, so you can expand freely, as I said earlier. You can also see that my raiding paid off. I think I'm... 20 oh, yeah. metal ahead? 20, 20 uh, metal. 12... 12 metal. No, oh, no, no, only 30, 20? 30. <laughs> oh, 30, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the raiding paid off, and... Uh, I think that this uh, for initial attack, uh, or maybe, or was it the second? Yeah, maybe the second. At least this attack uh, uh, made the game for me. I kept the advantage through the game. So, and so was, um, yep. what, what tips do you have for keeping the advantage? Because a lot of times when I'm playing against race, I get kind of like a mid-game lead, like a round... I'd be lucky if I get a lead as big as this against race, but um, usually it's more like 10 or so metal. What what are ways that you can hold on to the advantage once you once you get it? Uh, well, you must uh, make sure that you can uh, hold your lines and that you can expand with uh, that uh, expand uh, with T2 Mohos, like I'm doing right now. I think I have four cons making T2 Maxes. And I don't think Harry has that many. I'm not sure. You can check. Yeah, I'm looking around his base. I don't see any T2 cons. So I'm just making the advantage even bigger. I think he catches up uh, somewhat in uh, Echo uh, in the mid game. Mm -hmm. But uh, I have a unit advantage. I mean, he's, uh, more units. Yeah, you, you have you have some units. I I'd say at this point the amount of units is somewhat equal. I mean, he's got flashes and panthers. You've got flashes and panthers. They're both in mid, and uh, you you do have this HLT going up on the on the right. But I'm not sure if that tips the balance too much yet because it's not built. No, oh, we have about the same amount of units at this point. Same quality in units. But uh, I have the echo advantage at uh, po uh, this point. And so it looks like I like to think of him. Yeah. And he's putting, pushing out some stumpies as well now. And uh, why why didn't you build bulldogs? Because bulldogs are a pretty strong unit. Uh, I don't know if you should build that build bulldogs so that early. Uh, they're good when massed, but not that good in uh, small amounts. And at this point, you wouldn't really be able to build a, a large amount of bulldogs because of your your current eco situation. Yeah, yeah, got it. And so, to and what you were saying earlier was to to kind of keep the advantage or to you know keep that edge. Um, just build yep. up your build up your eco while while putting the pressure on, but um, it doesn't look like there's too much pressure at this point, uh, unless unless I'm not seeing something. It's been pretty quiet well, uh, for a while. Since I'm ahead in the economy, I can just hold. I don't have to push anymore. I already have the advantage in the economy, so. It's him. It's uh, that he should uh, attack me. <laughs> he shouldn't hold, in my opinion. And later on, he tries to attack to <laughs> regain uh, some stability in the situation. <laughs> so, wh how would he attack? What what could? If you were Harry, what would you do at this point? Uh. Well, I would try to break maybe north. Yeah, I know he breaks. Uh, yeah, he's, he's going to try that. Trying to break with the flashes. Uh -huh. But I think I catch, catch him. 
So the trees uh, makes this map uh, really tricky. Uh, I tried to <laughs> use a mine layer by my own, but it got caught. <laughs> you, did, you did knock a pretty big hole in it for us, though. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a shame you couldn't get more flashes with that. <laughs> Uh, and so you're fortifying this position up with more panthers and flashes. I'm, I'm so I'm starting to see some bulldogs from Harry. Let's see what we've got on your side. Still more panthers. Yeah, he tries some uh, bulldogs now, and I keep spamming out more <laughs> panthers. In case I have to catch any breaks on the sides. Right, because they're a very fast unit. You can use them for defense just as well as offense. Yeah, yeah. Got the Unless road. he has... Yeah. Unless he has big amounts of uh, bulldogs, it's not that dangerous. Mm -hmm. And he's only got three or four out at the moment. Probably should have... See, with players like Dirty Harry, I'm very, very afraid to give them the space to... Uh, I'm very, very afraid to give them the space because they can eco up really, really quickly. Um, so yeah, Harry is a good builder. So uh, I think it catches up somewhat, uh, but uh, I bet I get a better quality in my units uh, later on. So what, we catch up. What is, uh, what is quality in units? I haven't heard that before. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's just a term I use, maybe. Uh, I think about the unit quality and uh, the echo. So you can have a good uh, echo, but bad unit quality. You have little or bad units, small amounts of units or bad units. Uh, well, these are the two terms I use. I don't know if they're... That good. I'd say you've won the game by this point. At this point, I'm starting to almost success, so I build some. Uh, start to build some metal storages and uh, get some more cons out to support uh, or to guard the uh, labs to use all the metal I have. And I also build another T2 lab. Right, and so the the point here is eventually. So long term. Um, why not like a T2K bot lab? Where, where are you going all vehicles? Well, uh, I don't think it's worth making another lab or just two other uh, two other labs just to get some uh, K bot cons. So I just use the vehicle cons. Cool. And there wouldn't, if you were to go K bot. Yeah, you you wouldn't you just wouldn't go K bot this on this map. <laughs> this is more like a vehicle map, right? Yeah, I would say so. Uh, it's in the beginning, it's uh, or at the start of the game, it's easier to defend than to attack uh, using flashes or gators to raid. And uh, later on, it's better to have bulldogs or uh, ghouls to. To break down the trees and break down the uh, defenses. Right. It's a, it's a choke map, so it's better to be vehicle. Got it. In yeah. my in my in my opinion. At and least. you're pulling out a whole lot of bulldogs now. It's because you've got the resources to to make them. And Harry is still building panthers. Um, yeah. Right now I'm uh, trying to get uh, a better unit quality. <laughs> uh, Trying to get big amounts of units and uh, good units. I'm starting to see what that means now. <laughs> this is a really good illustration of unit quality. You've got a whole bunch of bulldogs over there. Harry's got a whole bunch of panthers. Yeah, at this point I should have had <laughs> panthers instead because uh, these panthers break through trees down there. And I have to, and I have to defend. I switch to Panthers to deal with them. It looks like that's exactly what you did here. You've got three T2 labs building Panthers, and with uh, the economy that you've got as it is, it shouldn't take too long for you to build enough to respond. 
Looks like uh, you're confident yeah. enough to send these bulldogs just straight through mid. Yeah, I tried to counter. Uh, some points, uh, sometimes it's uh, better just to counter instead of sending slow units after fast panthers. Uh, I see many times that uh, people use bulldogs or slow units to try to <laughs> catch panthers or something like that. Uh, sounds that like a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. They'll never many catch people it. use. Yeah, so it looks even, it kind of looks even on the Mega map now. Yeah, it's about even. Um, but as you can see, it's uh, even in the economy, but I got more units. I have, uh, he has only the Bulldog Smith, and uh, I have some Bulldogs too. But uh, I come with the Flash, uh, with the Panthers south. And I think I break uh, down there, the trees. And he can't catch me. Right, because he's he's only got bulldogs and you've got quite a few labs. You've got three T two labs. You've got one T two lab. Uh, yeah, I can see yeah. that. I can see that playing out. Yeah. And when I talked about here, yeah. Go ahead. When I talked about unit quality and uh, the echo, it's um, I meant like what you invest your economy in. Do you uh, invest it in expanding more or making more economy, or do you exp uh, invest in uh, the quality of the units? That's what I meant with it. Mm -hmm. So right now we are about the same in, uh, or maybe I have 30, 20 metal leads, something like that. Yeah, and like 300, 300 uh, energy lead, not not too much. I mean, at this point, it's, it's marginal. But you've got the yeah. you've got the Panthers moving in the south, and he, all he's got is Bulldogs and Stumpies uh, in mid. And you've got Bulldogs in mid. Yeah. And, uh, he have he has all these wrecks, so we can uh, omit. That wasn't the best attack. <laughs> it wasn't that smart to attack with the Bulldogs. There's a lot of a lot of metal that you can just pick up, and you've got a lot of cons and labs to, to eat that metal up. Yeah. Um. Ideally, the trees should have been burnt, so I should have burnt the trees before I started to go in, so they break easier. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know you could break them more easily when they're burned. So it's just it takes a little bit more time. Yeah, it takes a bit more time, and I don't think he. Well, I think he stops this with some stumpies, and I pull back. But I attack later. Not south, uh, south side. And he's starting to build some uh, penetrators here, or supposedly they're called annihilator cars. <laughs> I, I like that. I like yeah. that a lot. Um, what? How do you how do you build? What's what's a good way to build your eco? But, so you've got you know a few fusions. I mean obviously you started building these a lot earlier than Harry started building uh, his his eco. But um, we've just got a few of these T2 cons here building eco. All of your eco, all of your energy at least is in one place. It's uh, in main, as well as all of your well, labs. Uh, uh, I tried to expand this. Uh far as possible with uh, T2 maxes and uh, later on I used a combination of fusions and uh, more metal makers metal makers T2 metal makers mm -hmm. to have a control of or to balance my economy and also expand it uh, yeah would you I want to do some, that? Uh, <laughs> uh, I played uh, many games and I watched some uh, a lot of replays as well. So I guess it's experience. Mm -hmm. It's basically like one like a one to one ratio of uh, fusions to Moho metal makers. Well, not really. There's no really real ratio, but you're looking at your your energy. And if you only have a few cons building them, it's uh, you know, one after the other, right? Yeah. Yeah. I um. 
if I have more energy than, uh, than than I use, then maybe I put up another instead of uh, going for a fusion. So it's not really one to one. It's just keeping an eye on the economy and uh, yeah, build what you need. Cool. Yeah, you've got a lot of uh, a lot of build power there. And are you thinking about T3 at this point, or uh, what's 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 the plan here? How are you gonna how are you gonna uh, materialize this win? Well, uh, eventually I will go T3. So that is the plan uh, at this point. Uh, also, wanna try to break uh, somewhere with the the Panthers <laughs> <laughs> to try to get uh, an 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 advantage again. Um, also, I go T2 air to try to uh, get some bombers, see what I can do with them later on. So uh, it's mostly T2, uh, T3 land and T2 uh, T, uh, T2 air that I hope can secure the win for me. Seems like a good idea. He's got tons of tons of defenders up though. All these missile turrets. Yeah. Do you scout at all when you attack? Well, I try to scout before I bomb at least. <laughs> uh, I didn't scout that good in this game. I should have scouted a bit more. Uh, especially later with the pen penetrators, when I get, get a big amount of penetrators, I should have scouted more. So that was something I could have improved from this game. So I'm just like, I'm loving, I'm loving this. Panthers tearing uh, stumpies to shreds. <laughs> People say they're overpowered. Well, I guess, I guess anything looks pathetic when you throw a whole bunch of panthers on top of them. Well, uh. In my opinion, uh, stun pistols is a bit overrated. They're good, okay, but well, not that good as uh, many people uh, wants to believe. Uh, usually, when you lose to mass raiders or mass uh, stun pistols, uh, the dude that's making all the stun pistols or uh, raiders has a huge uh, echo advantage, so he could have built uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm going T2 to end it, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that so makes I sense. Think it... Yeah. And now you're sending all these Panthers through the uh, southwest. Probably a clearer path for bombers. Because all these uh, missile uh, yeah. towers are going down. Yeah, but uh, later on I think I bombed through mid. Since uh, it's not a lot of uh, yeah, uh, anti air there. It's just two rows, yeah. that's it. Cool, and you're sending the uh, Bulldogs north. And you're sending, sending some uh, Annihilator cars at you. <laughs> yeah, I uh, see the Annihilators and then I start to make some of my own. Yeah, because you, you do seem to be getting that uh, eco lead back. Looks like it's uh, 220 to 176. Yeah, I start to spam infusions and uh, more metal makers. Usually, maybe not the best idea to put uh, them next to each other, but you only get uh, 250 more when you stack them together. Mm -hmm. Like Harry, he just goes two and two, so... <laughs> yeah, that's what I tried to I do too. <laughs> But since I have the Hawks and uh, enough anti-air, I think I can defend uh, an incoming bombing run. Bombing run. Right. So I just, he doesn't uh, even know where they are. Yeah, so I try to... I, I think I make three rows of... Uh... At this point, you've pushed on the south with uh, Panthers and Bulldogs. Do you, do you ever feel threatened in, in this game? Um, well, when he broke with those uh, Panthers south uh, earlier on, I felt a, I felt a bit 
a bit uh, threatening, but other than that, it was okay. Just kind of sitting back, relaxing, yeah. and just sending bulldogs against bulwarks and just raiding this hour. Have I started T3 yet on mid? Or maybe not yet? Doesn't look like it yet. Um, yeah, we're, we're only 39 minutes into the game. You're just kind of massing, uh, massing the Annihilators. Yeah. Before we, before we cut this off, um, what what's your opinion on T3? Like, uh, when should you build it? What units are good? What units are bad? How, how do you think it should be balanced? <laughs> Uh, well, it depends on the situation, but usually massing centur centurions is uh, really good. Uh, yeah, I, in this version, I uh, I prefer going T3 vehicle instead of uh, T3 K-Bot. I feel like it's uh, more versatile and can be used in more situations. Uh, it's easier to push and break the fence. Yeah, the, the, you see that it comes up. Yeah, so you've got the uh, TV vehicle lap going up on the east. So Centurions, and that's pretty much the one thing you would build versus anything. Because T3 is kind of uh, the, the final stage. Yeah, early on I would build Centurions, and uh, on this map, I don't think, yeah. Mammoths would do that well, or the arm equivalent. Uh, maybe go demolishers or and later on Imperium mm -hmm. or uh, MP. Yeah, yeah the MP. <laughs> cool. And well, thanks so much for coming on and doing this with me. It's been fun. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully I can learn something from this, and anyone who's watching will, will learn something too. We'll just have an army yeah. of 